Hello and welcome. In this practice, we're going to be doing a bit of a gentle asana practice to help prepare the body for our meditation practice. So throughout this practice, surely we'll be playing the bowls. But it's really important to move our bodies before we come into meditation. If you look at the Yoga Sutras, for example, you'll see that the asana practice precedes any of the breath work, the pranayama, or any of the meditation practices that we do. And it's really important that we set our students up for success by helping them move that tension out of their body before we come into a more grounded position for our meditation practice. So I highly encourage you, anytime you're leading any type of meditation practice, to do some type of movement beforehand to make sure that your participants are comfortable and ready and open for the experience of meditation. So if you'll join me now, you can go ahead and grab a bolster, a blanket, and two blocks, or any props that you might have in your house, just to get yourself set up here. And then go ahead and come to your mat and find a comfortable seated position. You can sit up tall, maybe sitting up on a block or a blanket, whatever props you've got nearby. And when you're ready, you might close your eyes or bring your gaze down to a non-moving point on the floor in front of you. As you start to settle here, see if you can align your heart over your hips and your head over your heart, finding a nice tall spine. I invite you to roll your shoulders down your back and away from your ears. Relax your jaw, soften the muscles in your face. Feel your breath starting to move into and out of your body. And then bring your awareness down into your sitting bones, planting yourself here for this practice. Feel all the places where your body is connected to and supported by the ground beneath you. anchoring your energy here. Take a full breath in together. Complete breath out. <sighs> Maybe one more big breath like that. Big inhale. Exhale, side out. <sighs> and slowly floating your palms to press in front of your heart center. In a prayer shape or in yoga, we call this Anjali Mudra, this gesture of union and of gratitude. And with your hands gathered here in front of your compassionate heart, if there's any intention that you'd like to set for today's practice, any word or phrase that comes to mind, any feeling, empathy, calmness, stillness, or joy, whatever it is that you're seeking, knowing that that same energy is seeking you. So with your eyes closed here, maybe seeing that word or that phrase on the screen of your mind, you can bow your chin towards your chest, just sealing that intention down into your heart center. Let's take another full breath in together. Big sigh out. And as you're ready, gently float the palms back down into your lap and flutter your eyes open, just taking in the first thing you see on the floor in front of you. You can bring your chin now all the way down towards your chest. And on an inhale, start to roll the right ear over towards your right shoulder. As you exhale, start to spin the head around in a nice and slow movement. And just continue moving easily like this allowing the head to come around in one direction as your shoulders melt down your back away from your ears. Eyes can be open or closed here. We're starting to create space in the throat center, our center for sound and communication. As you're ready, you start to bring the left ear over towards the left shoulder, moving effortlessly in this direction and noticing how changing the direction might change the sensation you're feeling through the sides and the back of the neck. You're welcome to hang out in any area that feels a little extra sticky today, any area that needs more attention. Full breath in, complete breath out. The next time your chin comes down towards your chest, let it rest there. And on an inhale, slowly float the chin back up to neutral. A 
Let's take a big inhale, sweep the arms around and up, gaze up overhead. As you exhale, gather the palms to press at your heart center. Let's take two more rounds just like that, inhaling, arms around and up. As you exhale, gather the palms to press in front of your heart. One more big inhale here. And as you exhale, palms press. This time, let's inhale, circle the arms around and up. And as you exhale, bring your right hand down and stretch long through the left side body. Open up your heart towards the ceiling. Let's take a deep breath in. Complete breath out. On an inhale, stretch both arms up overhead, and as you exhale, take it over to the other side. Full breath in. Complete breath out. We'll inhale, stretch both arms up overhead, and as you exhale, take a twist over towards the right side. The right hand can rest back behind you, left hand can be on the floor in front of you or on the knee. As you inhale, sit up tall, lengthen through the crown of the head. As you exhale, gaze over your back shoulder. Let's take a full breath in. Complete breath out. We'll inhale, stretch both arms up overhead, and as you exhale, take it over to the other side. Inhale to sit tall, lengthen through the spine. And as you exhale, feel yourself twisting a millimeter deeper around that central axis. And take a full breath in. Complete breath out. Inhale, stretch the arms up overhead. Then as you exhale, gather the palms to press at heart center. From here, let's roll over onto hands and knees coming into a tabletop position. If you have sensitive knees, you might place your blanket underneath your knees for a little bit more of a cushion here. And then when you arrive, align your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees under your hips. We'll move through some cat cows here. So as you inhale, draw the shoulder blades together, lift the tailbone, gaze forward. As you exhale, push the floor away like a Halloween cat, rounding through your spine. And just continue moving like this inside of your own breath. Inhale to open. And as you exhale, round. Big inhale, opening up. Exhale to round. Continue moving at your own pace here. Exhale, round. And as you're ready here, you might invite little movements of the hips, a little rock from side to side, or rolling the hips around in circles. And gently walk your knees a little bit wider than neutral. Bring your toes to touch and sink your hips back towards your heels for child's pose. You can relax your forehead down towards the mat. Or if the forehead doesn't reach, you can grab a block and place that underneath your forehead for a little more support here. You can walk your hands a little bit wider than neutral. Lift up through the fingertips a bit here, taking a deep stretch through the shoulders and then allow your forearms, your elbows to rest down. See if you can breathe here into all the joints of your body from your fingertips down to your toes. Breathe into your shoulders, your hips, your knees and your ankles. Full breath in, complete breath out. On an inhale, gently roll back up. You can move that block towards the side. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips up and back for downward facing dog. When you arrive in your down dog, gently pedal out through the legs, bending through one knee and the other, just starting to warm up through the back body. Full breath in, complete breath out. Then find some stillness in your down dog, bend your knees generously, Lift your tailbone up and back as far as it'll reach. Let's take a full breath in together. Complete breath out. 
On an inhale, lift your right leg up and back. And as you exhale, step the right foot forward, coming to a low lunge. If your leg doesn't reach, just help it up when you arrive. Then bring those blocks underneath your hands on any height setting to create some space. And just gently begin to rock forward and back here. Let's take a full inhale. Complete exhale. Starting to open up through the hips, the legs, low back. Another breath here. Exhale. And drop that left knee down to the mat and untuck the toes. Draw the hips forward in space and draw your shoulder blades together as you lift your heart. Full breath in. Complete breath out. Another inhale here. Exhale. As you're ready, start to shift the hips back in space. Straighten out through that right leg as you flex the right toes up towards your face. Picking the toes up off of the floor, you can start to sink the hips back as far as feels good, and then gently start to fold over that front leg. Let's take a full inhale here. Complete exhale. Another breath here. Then let's start to add some movement, moving through those two shapes. So as you inhale, come forward. Bend the knees, drop the hips. As you exhale, shift the hips back and straighten that right leg. Just moving here intuitively on your own breath, creating space through the hips. And you're welcome to hang out in either one of these shapes if one feels more useful for you today or continue to move here, finding what feels good. Full breath in, complete breath out. The next time you come to your top of your mat, you can walk those blocks off towards the side, plant your hands down, lift the left knee, and then step your right foot back, downward facing dog. Let's take a full breath in here breath out. Inhale, lift the left leg up and back. As you exhale, step that left foot forward, low lunge. Hands come to blocks at any height that feels good here. And as you're ready, start to gently rock forward and back, rolling on the ball of that back heel, that back foot, creating some space through the body. Full breath in. breath out and gently drop that right knee down to the mat untuck the toes draw your hips down as you lift through the heart Anjaneyasana full breath in complete breath out another big inhale here exhale Gently start to shift the hips back in space. Flex through the left toes as you fold over the leg. You can walk those blocks back in line to help support your body. And as you're ready here, just breathing deeply into the whole back of the leg, the hamstring, wherever you're feeling the sensation. Full breath in. Complete breath out. And as you're ready here, starting to add some movement to this shape, coming forward, bending the knee, exhale to release and fold. Inhale, bend the knee, Anjaneyasana, your low lunge. As you exhale, straightening that leg, folding forward. Continue moving like this at your own pace, inside of your own breath, or find stillness in a shape that feels supportive for you today. The next time you come forward, bending through that front knee, we'll walk the blocks off towards the side, plant the hands down, and then lift the right knee up, Step the left leg back, 
downward facing dog. Let's take a full breath in. Complete breath out. Inhale, let's roll forward, plank pose, top of a push-up. As you exhale, drop the knees down, lower down in one straight line onto your belly. Inhale, draw the shoulder blades together, lift the heart. As you exhale, lower down. Let's take two more baby cobras just like that. Inhale, shoulder blades draw together, tops of the feet press down, you lift the head and heart. As you exhale, lower. One more here, big inhale. Exhale, lower. On your inhale, press your way up through tabletop, back to a child's pose. You can walk the knees wide, release the hips to the heels, and relax the forehead down. Take a full breath in. Complete breath out. One more big inhale here. Exhale, let it go. On an inhale, start to walk your hands back up towards your body. Take a breath here once you arrive. Full breath in. Complete breath out. And go ahead and swing your legs out and around in front of you, coming to Dandasana, Staff Pose. You can flex the toes back towards your face, sit up nice and tall. Sitting up on a blanket might feel good to help boost your hips up a little bit higher. We'll inhale, stretch the arms up overhead. Exhale, take a fold forward. Hands can rest on the body, beside the body, wherever feels good. As you inhale, think about lifting up halfway. Exhale, creating space as you fold. Full breath in. Complete breath out. One more big inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, gently rise back up. And then draw the soles of the feet to touch, knees out wide for Baddha Konasana or Cobbler's Pose. And as you arrive here, you can draw the shoulder blades together, lift the heart. As you exhale, fold forward any amount. You can walk the hands forward in space, or if you're close to the floor, you might place a block beneath your forehead. As you settle here, start to breathe into the area where you feel the sensation. Notice what it's like to practice with the support of the sound bowls. Feeling the vibration, present and aware for any inner sensations. Full breath in. Complete breath out. As you're ready here, gently rise back up to sitting. Inhale. Exhale. We'll set ourselves up now for Shavasana. So you can go ahead and move those blocks over towards the side. You can grab a blanket, slide it underneath your head. If you have another blanket and you'd like to cover yourself with it, you can do that. And grab your bolster or a rolled up blanket, slide it underneath your thighs or knees so that your heels can still rest on the floor and you're just bringing a gentle bend into the knees to help support the low back. As you're ready, you're gonna roll down onto your back, come to lying. Arms can come out beside you or onto your body. As you settle here in your Shavasana, think about drawing your shoulder blades together and releasing them down into the floor. Hands can rest wherever feels good Tuck your chin towards your chest and lengthen through the back of the head and the back of the neck. Maybe roll the head a bit from side to side, creating space. Lengthen through your whole rib cage, your whole spine. Let your hips be heavy, legs and feet roll open naturally. Take any adjustments you need to make yourself even five to 10% more comfortable here. Full breath in, complete breath out.
as you're ready, you can gently begin to deepen your breath. Take a fuller inhale, more complete exhale. Invite gentle movements back into your body, wiggling through your fingers and your toes. Rock your head from side to side. Stretch your arms up overhead for a big good morning stretch. Stretch through the right side and the left side of your body. And as you're ready, bend your knees, maybe hug your knees into your chest. Take a moment to roll over onto one side, resting in the fetal position, the shape indicative of new beginnings. And in your own time, gently press your way back up towards a comfortable seated position. Taking a moment to arrive. If your eyes have opened, allow your eyes to reclose. Take a full breath in. Complete breath out. Notice how you feel without a right way to feel. And gather your palms to press in front of your compassionate heart center. Bow your chin towards your chest and thank yourself for showing up today, being elevated through yoga. Come back to that intention that you set at the start of class. And as you bow forward, seal your intention for practice today. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you again soon.